drama singer-songwriter here in Los Angeles. Wonderful. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I grew up here in California, and I play shows around town. I'm really excited to be here tonight and check out some art. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, what brought you here tonight? Um, a friend of mine told me about the project, and it sounds awesome. I always love to see what musicians are doing outside of their normal show life and kind of how they spend their free time, so this will be really interesting. All right, uh, what is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration? Oh, my goodness. Um, I would say today it was the ocean, because it was this gorgeous day, and this big blue ocean is right there, but we never notice it. Uh, how can we follow you? Uh, you can follow me at listentolucy.com or check out the hashtag listentolucy. Wonderful, thank yeah. you so much. Um, this is Paulina, I'm a singer-songwriter from LA, I guess. <laughs> Wonderful, what brought you here tonight? Um, I came here, I just got back from actually a tour in Europe and it's my first outing back home in LA and um, I came here to support the art because actually my father is an artist and I've always been a big fan of um, art and I, wherever I travel and do shows, whether it's in London, Moscow, Paris, LA, New York, I always check out you know, what's going on art-wise and um, today it's uh, Billy Morrison's pr presenting his new painting. So. Um, you excited? I'm excited to see. I've, I haven't seen his artwork, so I'm actually excited to see what it's like. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, tell us a little bit about your music. Um, I recently uh, did a tour with Felix Jan. Um, he's a DJ from Germany. We had a number one in Germany last year called Bo Book of Love. And um, I also had a song with Eminem. Uh, for which wonderful. What's the name of this song? It's called Legacy. It was on his last um, album, MMLP2, and uh, I won a Grammy. So, um, And I just released my own single called uh, Little Babylon, and I've been touring in Europe around um, the single. It's on Sony and Ultra, and uh, you should check it out. Yeah. We will. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, I write all my own music, which is like something that I've always stood by and that I always will stand by. It's like alternative rock, kind of hosiery, KT Tunstall-ish. I mostly use my electric and acoustic guitar on everything, so it has that very um, classic indie rock vibe. Wonderful. Um, so what's next for you? Next um, is getting my material out there. I'm currently working on recording some of my own pieces and getting that on iTunes and Spotify and all that jazz. And I know you're also a model and an actress. Let's talk about this. Oh, well, I just finished up filming a, a fan film for um, Game of Thrones. So I play Sansa Stark. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that should be coming out sometime before the end of the year. No, wait, is it? Let's talk a little bit. How was the experience for you? The the whole, you know, play playing this character. Oh, it was hard because I had um, before recording, um, before filming, I had never seen any of the um, any of the TV show. But they told me to read the scenes in the books instead because they were basing it off the books instead of the TV series. So I went through and I read all of the scenes that it, my character was in, and that was a really fun experience. Well, I do feel like there's a lot of similarities in the way that Sansa and I think, in a way, we're both very sweet, per se, and I very much so connected with that. But it was, uh, yeah, it was c easy to connect with because I felt like it wasn't too out of the box for me. Uh, and as a model, um, did do you participate in any runaway shows? What's going on with your career as a model? Um, uh, currently, I'm. Uh, uh, promoting a lot of my own fashion on my Instagram and styling. You can go there to um, find style ideas or anything that you like. There. What kind of style is it? Ooh, I don't know. I like to find a lot of my own original pieces, so... <laughs> what, what is uh, inspiration? the Ooh, inspiration? I love to incorporate vintage things. Like, it's not full-on vintage, but I just love older pieces that can make it look new and different. Hi, my name is Rod Dreyfus. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a director and a photographer, and then also I develop television shows. Oh, wonderful. What television shows can you name? Um, I'm working on a few things right now. I'm not actually allowed to talk about most of them because that's the way it works in the industry. Um, I just finished a, a show for Acme, which is an animated comedy similar to Family Guy or like South Park. Um, and it's about Jesus Christ and how he came down 20 years ago to start the rapture. But 
he just got really caught up in the 90s and he's actually a spoiled entitled rich kid like anybody else with a powerful daddy. Um, it's really great like we're obviously um, we're in development at the moment um, and so we've finished all of the episodes and we've um, we've done some of the animation all the characters are done it's a process animation is a very different from anything else that I've ever worked in it takes much longer um, there's so much more detail that's involved but um, I'm really enjoying being in that space because I normally work in scripted so um, but like live scripted obviously so cool and uh, I have to ask you uh, this question if you're a big fan of uh, Billy Morris and Bill Idol <laughs> <laughs> I music, mean, <laughs> not just art, but music as well. <laughs> um, of course, I mean, who isn't? You know, I think uh, the music's amazing. I mean, they're legends, you know, and when someone mm -hmm. becomes a legend, uh, everything that they do usually makes a statement. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Uh, my name is Michael DeBar. I'm a huge Billy Morrison fan, both as a guitar player, and his hair is really cool, and he's a great painter, clearly. I see everything is art. I see there's a few people over here, ladies and gentlemen, out, out of range of your camera, and they look like a tableau of interesting people. I mean, I don't want to sound glib, but it is everywhere. It is how much you, you make of life, you know. All life is art to me. It's all I've ever done, to act and sing and play. And, and I'm so proud of him because he's a guitar player. He loves rock and roll music, and and yet, a few years ago, he discovered that he had this talent for it. I believe everybody has the talent to be able to create great art, you know. And uh, great being sort of subjective, because art is subjective. One person's, you know, Van Gogh is another person's childlike scribble, you know, you don't know. But I think that um, I love to paint. But I don't paint because I want it to be successful. I paint because I just want to see something, express yourself. And Billy's done that, and, and I'm so proud of him. Hi, my name's Kelly Heyer. Happy to be here. This is exciting. How are you? Good, good, good. And uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what do you like the most about tonight? Around? I'm just excited to see all the artwork. I mean, it's so exciting to be surrounded by just artistic people that are up and coming, established, you know, much like myself. It's it's very exciting. Happy to be here. And I absolutely love your dress. What does that mean? Oh, you know, just a small little boutique. You know, I can't tell you, otherwise I'd give away my secret. You know, gotta, gotta keep it to myself. It's my boutique. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I'm born and raised in Orange County. I am an aspiring actress. I've been acting ever since I was 12 years old. Um, currently, I am working on an independent film written and produced and directed by Derek Purvis. Um, let's see, the most recent thing I've done, it was on Raising Hope. It was four seasons on Fox. It was a half hour sitcom, time of my life. Um, yeah. I'm a dancer, artist, just like everybody Wonderful. here. Yeah, I love, I love, I'm just excited to be here. This is, this is really cool. And uh, what is your biggest inspiration? Oh gosh. You know, for being so creative and being an actress and yeah. an artist. Yeah, absolutely. What does it take? Like I mentioned before, I can really just appreciate anybody that, with any kind of art, whether it's, you know, singing, writing, directing, painting, you know, whatever it may be, it just, you know, just to, to chase your to chase your dreams and not to give up, no matter how hard it gets, no matter, you know, if it seems like it's not going to work out, how discouraging it may get, just to keep on chasing, chasing that dream. I, that, that's my inspiration, people that just don't give up and, and keep, on, keep on going. Wonderful. Yeah. Very, very inspirational. Um, in what movies can we see you? Uh, well, currently, like I mentioned before, um, I'm working on an independent film. It's called My Experience. It uh, doesn't start filming till December, so probably won't come out until uh, next year sometime. Hopefully, you know, it's going to go to festivals and things like that, as independent films do. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that, it, that, it'll, that it'll hit the, the big theaters and you can see me in that. And that what is the release date? What was that? What is the release date? Uh, we're not too sure yet. We, ha we haven't started shooting yet, so we're just doing the rehearsals and stuff like that, getting everything blocked. Um, so, yeah, sometime next year. 
Keep your eyes peeled. Um, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your character? My character, um, you know, it's a it's a really interesting, probably the most uh, interesting characters I've had to 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 play yet. It's um, she's very religious. She's actually she's Mormon. She's um, That's kind interesting. of interesting. Was it difficult to play? I know. Well, you know, just because um, she's so into to her her religion, and she's living in Los Angeles which, um, you know, it's a world of people that are kind of going against, you know, against what she, she believes in. So, um, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, basically she, she does a lot for her, for her faith and for her, uh, it's kind of, kind of a thriller. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's exciting. All right, how can I follow you on Instagram, Internet? Oh yeah, I'm on Instagram. Um, my Instagram name is Kelly Christine, and that's K H R I S T I N E. Uh, and I'm also on Facebook. It's just Kelly Heyer, H E Y E R. I'm really bad at Twitter. I don't know how to tweet. You know, I should be more with it, but I'm not. Um, my little sister's like Kelly, get with it. But uh, maybe one of these days, I'll uh, I'll be tweeting with you guys. <laughs> All right, would you introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Jay Seta. And we're so happy to see you tonight. Um, what do you like the most about tonight? Well, Sunset Marquee is one of the most legendary spots in the world. I mean, who, who's been in the recording studio is mind-blowing. It's so exciting. So just to be a part of an event here is exciting. Yeah, Billy Morrison, I mean, he's amazing. He's a, he's a legend, so. You know, I try to, I try to dress like a rock and roller too. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I really like it. Um, what do you like about art? Well, art is just an expression of who you are inside. For me, art is like the most important thing for me. It's the most vital thing for me. You know, it's self-expression. And I love art that has no boundaries. It's so important to have that. Uh, have you already seen Bill Morrison's piece of art that he wrote? What's that? Have you already seen Bill Morrison's piece of art? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I'm excited. It's going to be unveiled very soon. I'm looking forward to it. All right. What's going on with your career right now? Well, I have a new single out. It's called Distortion. We just um, released a video yesterday. I'm really excited about it. It's so different from anything I've ever done. And um, yeah, it was directed by Kate Kills and he's an incredible visionary and it just came to life. We went on a road trip to the desert for a couple of days and just about going beyond your boundaries and, you know, being free. Oh my God. Who doesn't want to Can you reveal some more details about it? <laughs> oh yes. What What's that? What are we expected to see? Well, you can see it on Vivo right now on YouTube. So make sure to follow me on my socials. I am Jay Sutta. That's really important. You can always stay in touch with me in social media. It's awesome. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Do you like a Twitter, Snapchat? A Twitter, Snapchat, <laughs> Jay Sutta. That's all it is, yeah. Jessica Sutta for Facebook. So like my page and we can keep in touch. I love Facebook. Facebook's my favorite. All right, since we're talking about awesome music, I have to ask this question. Sure. Because we have upcoming AMA Awards. Do you have any favorites? Like any favorite artists you're gonna vote for? For AMA Awards. Oh, AMA Awards. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, I think Lady Gaga is pretty incredible. You know, she's always reinventing herself so many ways. You know, she's always, you know, growing, and I love her as an artist. So I would vote for her. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.